Okay, so let's say you have maybe a part um, which you need to find out or which, need, which you need to listen or more to find out what actually is going on there. So you could loop stuff really easily um, if you just um, select, um, for example, these two bars or let's say, let's select uh, four bars so I could select all these ones just click down and then you can select them and now I could use the menu uh, the right right click menu and loop selection or command L or strg L and now this part is going to be looped if I press play on the spacebar And then it's going to be looped. So there's this little short break. Maybe I just want to find out this break. Um, maybe if I don't have any uh, drum score for it, I want to listen to only this break. And I'm going to slow down the temp to 90 BPM. Or maybe I just want to have the only this bar. Or maybe only the second half of the bar. Now I get the, um, the idea of the break. Okay, and now I can start rehearsing it. Let's say um, two bars. I'm gonna change the temp again to 120. So the main groove is gonna be. And then the break. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna uh, change the volume of the playback a bit so that the drumming will be. My live drumming will be here. Yeah, that sounds good. A bit louder again. Okay, so let's go for it. This way I can select parts which are really difficult for me, give them a little bit of time, maybe start a little bit slower and let's say 90 BPM. And then just have them as a loop.